think financially our giving is necessary because obviously our kids are doing wonderful things in Sunday school and they love coming home and having the canvas that they were able to paint on and their craft that they enjoy doing. And so like I think financially obviously our giving is making a difference in their lives and the other kids in their class as well. But also my, part of my giving is supporting Allie and our other Sunday school teachers because we so desperately need it. I think COVID hit us hard and we've lost some staff and my get, part of my giving is supporting them. And so all support that you can give, whether it's financially or of your time is appreciated. Yeah, I think that the impact of my giving has been personal and I've seen some small moments. I think that life is about making small moments, especially in our local community. In the actual Sunday school, I have seen that happen with the kids. We had these two kids who clearly, like myself when I was that age, Sunday school was not the priority of their day that, that, that weekend. And so helping them make moments and connections to where they're coming back asking me the next Sunday, what are we doing today? Or they know and they come back in before, they kind of are a little standoffish, they might stand behind their parent, the next week they're running in and they're making this space their own has really brought me joy. And so for me, along with what Lissa said, it's creating those spaces that help the next generation feel fulfilled and continue our missions of the church. Yeah, I think making leaders is a, is a great way to, to phrase it. So by coming to church, by giving them an enjoyable experience, you are helping promote those values and skills which they can then build upon and right. take into adulthood. And so your, the giving of your time, the giving of your treasures will only help create that environment to where they feel they can be safe, they can be a leader, they can walk in God, God's path and, and truly you know, make the world a better place. Right. get it. I understand it's hard to, to give financially, but there's so many other ways that you can give as well. I mean, I we need more support. I think all of our Sunday school teachers would deserve a break, and so if you can give up your time and want us to volunteer, I think that would be greatly appreciated. I would say we're pretty approachable. Walk downstairs, there's usually coffee and donuts that are not gone by the end of church, so it's like the secret coffee stash. and. I would, I'd be happy to show you what we're doing so you know exactly if I, if I donate and I give whether it's volunteering or money, this is what I'm giving for. And if you would like to volunteer with myself or Paul, I'm sure Allie would want you to do that. We could always use help. We, we, we typically have 10 to 13 kids ages uh, third, or third grade through fifth, so it's, it's a big group. And but not the youth group. We need. But more. not yeah, correct. But not but but not the youth group. But so but I want to give you an opportunity to just see where those dollars would go. 